Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us this week. I bring you to a unique place here. I bring you to the desert. Why do I do this? Well, I get so many people coming to me struggling with bunker play. They're either duffing the ball, leaving it in the bunker, or thinning it over the back of the green. And they often cite, yes, poor technique, but they often cite there's not enough sand in the bunker, Danny. I can't play those bunker shots. Or Danny, there's too much sand in the bunkers. I just can't play those shots. The question is, how do you go about playing them? Well, look at this place. I've got every single possibility of shot. I've got a variety of lies. I've got uphill, down all lies, you name it. We're gonna cover it all in this week's training. Before I do though, if you're new to this channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please come and join the community. So press that subscribe button and the bell and you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. So, so there are three things that you need to know when you're playing bunker shots. You need to know where to enter the sand, you need to know how to enter the sand, and third and finally, you need to know how to exit the sand. So let's get started. How do you go about achieving this? Well, let's start with initially the type of strike that we required. When you're playing a bunker shot, you do not want to be taking too much sand. So let's just talk about the, in a sense, the, the, the depth that we're after. We want to, when we're striking a bunker shot, we want to be taking a slither of sand. That is very little sand between the club face and the ball. Why do we want that? Because you generate the most amount of backswing for one, so you've got more control. And finally, it's a lot easier to control, distance control. If you're taking a stack of sand, you have to make sure you hit this ball incredibly hard to get any form of distance. It's not, that's not helpful whatsoever. So, what do you need to do? Let's start with setup. In order to get this lovely shallowness, right, you're gonna to need to do a couple of things. We do not want the leading edge cutting into the sand whatsoever, so we're gonna use the bounce here. That's, this is blunt, really, really blunt. We want it gliding. If you get the leading edge set up here with a square fist, all you're gonna do is dig into this sand. That's not what we're after. So we're gonna open the face first, and we're gonna open it wide up so the back of the club is literally on the ground. For you, it might feel like this is crazy, this is so exaggerated. Then we grip it. What we don't do is open like this. We open the face wide open, then we grip it. Then what we're gonna to do to help with this is I'm gonna lower myself into the sand here. So I'm gonna literally, as that, as that lays flat, the club also lays flat, look how it lowers down. I need to now reach down to this, okay? The third thing in this setup here, to help with this, I'm gonna imagine a swing that works much, much more around. Why? Because a swing that comes up and down is just gonna to take too much sand. Now, if you've got compact sand, really hard sand, we might encourage a downward strike. In the desert here, we've got stacks of sand, we're gonna create more of a glide. So bear that in mind. Firmer sand, you might wanna come up a fraction. Softer sand, we wanna get uh, this gliding action. So we've got the open face, we've got the lowered stance here, uh, bending the knees, and we're gonna create this feeling of working the club much, much more around the body. The fourth and final thing here is watch this. I'm gonna basically stretch out this angle here. I wanna reduce, raise almost my left hand a fraction here by not standing too close, by just standing a little bit further away. And again, this just stops the club flicking downwards, okay? There's your fourth and final thing to help this glide. Let's have a look at that just initially in action. So I'm getting myself set here. I'm gonna imagine a nice glide. And then away we go, nice and simple. Right, so that's gonna encourage you to get the gliding effect. So next thing is entry point. You're gonna to need to play around with how you, how the club enters into the sand. So we've got the glide, but if you're gliding and you're entering the sand way back here, that's not gonna help whatsoever. So what we then need to do is this. I'm gonna give you a simple drill after this. So we get the ball position forward in our stance, simple as that. And what we wanna do is you wanna get the sternum here, the body, just probably about a couple of inches behind here, right? So ball's forward. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that ball out of the way. And we're gonna test your ability to come through this line or hit this line. Now we wanna hit the line and we wanna basically create this glide. So look at that there, I've hit the line absolutely on the money. But if you start and you find that you're hitting the line miles behind, fantastic. At least you've got some feedback now that you can actually learn from. If you're not hitting the line at all, Right, you're gonna start thinning the ball. Those are the shots where you're thinning the ball 
into, um, into the, the face of the bunker. So simply practice moving up and down this line and just practice gliding through. So I've got an, a very little divot and I would practice this for, for quite a while. You know, when I first started this, the, the amount of sand would vary, the where I hit it would vary. So don't start hitting golf balls until you get a level of consistency of depth of sand from the lowness and how you've created step one. And now the position, i.e. where you sit in the sand here, just keep going backwards and forwards. Let's have a look at this in action. The beauty of being in the desert, by the way, is I can hit the ball anywhere. So, so here we go, let's have a look at this. So I'm gonna literally get myself set. Swinging, feel like I'm swinging more around. Nice shallow divot. And away we go. Nice glide, ball pops absolutely beautifully. Let's have a look at now a couple of drills to really put this to the test. So now we've got probably the hardest bung shot ever. It's a downhill lie, but a wonderful way for you to practice your entry point and the couple of things that we worked on in terms of getting that club nice and shallow. So get yourself set up here. I'm gonna draw a line. The entry point doesn't change, but in order to hit it now, you get your weight and position is gonna naturally change. If I stand with my weight feeling pretty even, I'm gonna end up probably hitting the sand way behind because this bit's higher, yeah? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get my weight favoring my left side, my lead foot here. Now, if you've got a big steep bank in front of you, this is gonna feel pretty straight. You feel, oh, I need to get some height. Unfortunately in this, you're gonna to have to, again, get that face wide open. And all we're gonna do initially is, is you're gonna to have to hit that line and just trust that you've got enough elevation. We're gonna practice first. Practice your entry point. Here we go. Entry point there, look, I'm on the line. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. I'll do that one more time. Now, if you find that you're not getting your entry point spot on initially, don't be worried about hitting golf balls initially. Just practice that. Remember, your body is an absolute genius. It's very clever. It will naturally, if you start hitting the ground way behind here, it will naturally start to move forward here. I could tell you all this information about put your weight here, etc., but you'll find this out for yourself naturally by just using the line drill. So, enough yapping. Let's just have a look at this downhill bunker shot in action here. And away we go. Beautiful strike, that one. Okay, let's have a look at how you play uphill lies. And uphill lies, it's more about the exit, uh, how you exit the sand as opposed to the entry. Let's have a look at uphill. So now I've got an uphill lie. And when you play an uphill lie, the line look is still in place. I'm, I'm still trying to exit in the same place. But now it's, the entry point's gonna be a piece of cake, but the exit point is the hardest bit. A lot of people here, they struggle with an upper lie because they come down into that line here and they hit way too much sand. What we're trying to do here is this. We're trying to hit the line, yes, but what we're trying to do is here is we want to make sure that when they're coming through, we're taking a slither of sand. So we're, we're getting the club gliding up the sand, not getting it deep into the sand. That won't get the ball out at all. So let's have a look at this in action. I'm going to again, same principle, balls forward in my stance. I'm lowering the, the, uh, the blade so it's completely flat. I'm getting myself nice and rounded in here. I'm going to imagine that gliding action, but now I'm focusing more on my exit point. So there's a line, but I'm going to figure in how the club comes out of the sand, i.e. up the sand. Let's have a look at this in action here. Get myself set. Very nice. So look at this here. Again, shallow divot through the sand here. Got a beautiful amount of elevation. The, all these things, line drills here, how you're entering the sand make a huge difference. Let's have a look and summarize exactly what you need to do and go away and practice. So as the sun goes down us here in Dubai, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And let me give you now a brief summary for what you need to do and go away and practice. 
Let's, the first thing you need to get cracking is, is you need to make sure that you're taking a nice shallow amount of sand. Not no sand, a shallow amount. How do you go about doing that? Well, it starts initially in the basic setup. Make sure that you've got the club face wide open, then you grip it so the back of the face is on the ground. Don't worry about the face aiming to the right because the, when you lower the actual uh, shaft, the face of the club actually is actually pointing, the face is called face plane tilt, actually points closer to the target. So you're gonna open the face wide open. You're gonna lower yourself into the ground here, like this. You're gonna stretch off this angle here. You do this by standing a little bit further away. And then I want you to visualize a more rounded motion in your swing. That's the setup. Now, how you go away and practice this? We said, look, very simple. Don't worry about hitting loads of golf balls. Just practice hitting a very small amount of sand. Just practice your glide. If you start to kind of take loads of sand like this, then you know that you're coming down steep on it. Now, yes, if you're playing on wet sand, more compact sand, you might at some stage need to come up a little bit steeper and come down. But generally, a more rounded motion will be far more beneficial. And when you're doing this, don't open your face, uh, feet wide up and keep them nice and square. So once you've got the shallowness, you then need to practice the entry point. We said, look, how do you practice entry point? Very simply, just draw a line here initially, get yourself set up, and you've now got the shallowness. Now you're, you've got to make sure that you're striking the line in the place that you want to strike it. If you find that you're striking it way behind, don't worry about it, your body's clever. It will start to make the subtle adjustments. I know you might ask some questions like, where should my weight be? Your weight will start to move naturally into its right place just in order to hit in the right spot. Don't make it complicated. And, and finally, we mentioned, well, exit point. Well, uphill lies, downhill lies, go and practice them in exactly the same manner. Uphill lies are a great way. You've got to make sure the exit point is nice and shallow. You're not coming into the sand. And apart from that, it's basically, it does require some practice. Don't rush to the golf course and play tournaments with this. Go away and practice it. And I'm sure you'll be much, much better bunker players. If you've got any questions, don't hit them in the comments box below. And of course, look, if you one of your friends could do with a bunker lesson, please share it. Until next week, have a great golfing week.